What is up, YouTube? My name is James, and I'm going to rant. Now, this is the first time I've done this, and uh, if it makes it up to the No DQ page, uh, thank you, Aaron Rift. Um, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, but something has just, uh, as the millennials would say, triggered me. And it came a couple days ago when I saw WWE had posted on their social media platforms various images and videos of one Braun Strowman dressed as a freaking elf. I get that for all intents and purposes, kayfabe's dead. Don't like it, but I get it. But does that excuse this, really? Braun Strowman has survived two murder attempts. The ambulance crash from Roman Reigns, the dumpster compactation, whatever you want to call it, um, being thrown through stages, tables, no selling a trip to Suplex frickin' City. I mean, this guy, all of 2017 was built up as the monster among men. And here he is, prancing around town in a friggin' elf costume. You just took all of his credibility. Everything you had built up. All these, as I said, assassination attempts. These things he has survived. He has overcome. He has been the monster among men. And you tossed it out the friggin' window. Because you had to put some happy-go-lucky images of him dressed as an elf. I don't get it. Going back to the PG era when it all began, is when WWE really started pushing this entertainment thing. We are entertainment. We are characters that we're playing. Stephanie McMahon is the biggest culprit of this of all time. Every time she's in a non-WWE interview... I mean, it could be a drinking game with saying how many times um, she says, the character I play on TV. It's to the point where it's overkill. I get it. You gotta appease the sponsors, the shareholders. You gotta let them know, yes, this is scripted entertainment. Okay, say it once. Have this interview say, look, this is what it is. Moving forward, we're not going to acknowledge it, but this is what it is, so you know. You know, these guys aren't really getting driven into ambulances. These guys aren't really getting crushed by uh, garbage trucks. These guys aren't really getting killed. And uh, that would be it. That would be enough. But it's like they have to do it every chance they get. They'll do something crazy. They'll do a big spot, and then they'll say, it's not real. And then I'll do another big spot, controversial angle. Oh, we scripted it. They're fine. It just takes away so much, and it insults the intelligence of the fans. You don't have to do it. You don't. We know. We know it's scripted. All right? But what about... All right. When I was, say... Eight, nine, ten years old watching WWF when I was uh, a huge fan as a kid. If someone had told me that, uh, let's say, when Jeff Hardy jumped off the ladder at uh, WrestleMania 2000 in that triple threat TLC match, if someone had told me immediately after that, oh, he's fine, uh, they planned that, they rehearsed it, him and Bubba Ray Dudley talked about it before the show. That would have crushed me. That would have made me a non-fan. That would have just taken everything away. And yet, that's what they're doing to today's kids who are trying to get invested in the product, but they're being told constantly, it's just entertainment. It's not real. You know, that's, that's a trick I use on my kids. I have two boys. And when they get scared at a scary movie, a scary TV show, something spooky, I have to tell them, it's all right, guys. It's not real. It's fake. Look, and I show him, look, there's the mask. There's the scene where the suit is. I explain it to him, and all of a sudden, they're not scared, and therefore, they're not interested. That is what WWE is doing to their own damn product. Ugh. 
It's so infuriating. And just this Braun Strowman thing just was the straw that broke the back. Um, it, they're, they're taking it too far. We know it's entertainment. Stop shoving that down our throats. Maybe, then, just maybe, people will get more invested. Let's not even talk about the crappy storylines, the terrible writing, the substandard commentary, the lackluster three-hour format. I mean, if you just take all that off the table and focus on one thing, focus on stop drilling this entertainment thing into our heads, maybe you can start going in the right direction. You know, as soon as people become more invested, stock goes up, you know, uh, viewership goes up, and then, hey, we're on to something, then the writing will improve, then the shows will improve, and before you know it, it'll be booming again. But this PG entertainment era bullcrap is really, in my opinion, gone overboard. Um, I don't know, that's my rant. Um, a little bit about myself, just real quick. Uh, my name is James. Um, on social media, some people know me as the Boston Punk. Not a nod at CM Punk. I'm from Boston. Big fan of punk music. Used to be in a punk rock band. So that's what that is. Um, I do run the No DQ D O T C O M official Instagram account. Um, Aaron Rift does have access to the account. He knows about it. I have communicated with him about it. Um, we are all on the same page on that. So, no, it is not run by Aaron directly. I run it, but it is with Aaron's full blessing and full cooperation. So, it's officially unofficial, or unofficially official, whichever you choose. I've uh, been a fan of No DQ since it was WWFWCW.com um, back in 99, 2000. And then the Mayhem, and then No DQ, of course. Um, been a long time contributor um, as far as comments, super chats, anything you can name. I've done to promote the site, to support the guys. I've been on uh, one of the panel videos. I was on panel number seven, where we discussed the biggest pipe bombs in WWE history. Um, and I look forward to uh, continuing my support. I hope you guys can follow the NoDQ.com. Uh, no DQ, D O T C O M on Instagram. Um, I post a lot of uh, cool graphics just, just for fun. Uh, I encourage everybody to screenshot them, share them, save them, spread the word. Um, I did uh, attend college for graphic design and marketing. So um, I'm a butcher now. I cut meat for a living. So I'm not putting that degree to good use. So this is just something I do in my spare time. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do some more of these videos if I get enough thumbs up. Maybe I won't. Maybe this will be a one-off. Maybe this won't even make it to YouTube. I don't know. But when something irks you, you got to get it off your chest. This is, uh, this is James Malspino. This is my rant.